Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my people, my former students. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Monday. I just went to the coffee shop. Got me my good old coffee. Um, I didn't put milk or sugar on this one because I'm not trying to have any sugars or any foods until 12 p.m. I'm doing a little fasting, trying to eat a little better. Anyways, got my coffee from next door. Shout out World Ground Coffee on MacArthur. Um, and here is, let's get to it. Origami chess. This is the first origami chess that I have ever seen. Not that I've been looking for uh, any. Uh, I just have definitely not seen it. And like I said in the past, I love uh, when I run into a unique uh, or weird or random chess set. If it's in my budget, I definitely try to get it. Um, this one, I got it uh, last year. What is it? 2022. I believe it was around July. I went, um, I spent the night or two nights maybe at, in this little beach town called Cam Cambria, Cambria, California. Um, really small town, really chill. I remember we were riding bikes uh, there. The place we stayed at, they uh, they had bikes there. So that was pretty cool, riding beach cruisers. We rode to uh, the downtown area. And the downtown area, fairly small, uh, you know, small town feel for sure. A lot of art galleries, a lot of art galleries uh, and thrift shops. So, and like I said before, I love being on the hunt for them. Like I bought some online, right? But it's not the same as going into the flea market or going into the thrift store and looking to see what kind of chess set is out there or what interesting interesting thing I find. But really I'm looking for chess sets. That's really what uh what I'm looking for, chess related things. So in a thrift shop in Cambria, California, I saw this guy. Um says so it includes the chessboard and specially printed paper. Now this one is pretty much brand new and this is <laughs> you have to fold all these papers right it's origami you have to fold them and make all the the pieces yourself and i don't <laughs> i'm not that patient i and you know now thinking about it i should have done it with my students my chess club at school. Um, maybe I'll go soon for a chess club meet and I have you kids help me work on it. But it has these papers. These are the bases. So look at this. Let's look at this. Make it a little easier, right? So this, these are the pieces. So the bottom little bases, it tells you, I guess, what which piece is and then so that's i believe the bottom pieces are these guys right because they have the i think this is a pawn i'm not sure what that is i think yeah i think that's a pawn so yeah that's for the bases um and then there's the fur paper if you could see it better this is <laughs> this is for the animals so there's different cats and there's different dogs. So there's different papers with different textures. And yeah, like I do not have the patience to do it. And also, I don't know, maybe, maybe I sell it one day. I don't know. The thing really for me is just the excitement and going and looking for new chess sets the all the other sets that i would get i play them like once or twice then after that put it under the bed put it in a, on the shelf and then i'm like on the hunt for the next one find the next one use it once or twice put it uh in the bed under the bed in the shelf bam off to the next one 
So it started becoming a problem, as you can see. I have all these chess boards, chess sets that uh, are just stored, and that's why I wanted to actually share with people too. So they wouldn't just be sitting in storage, at least I could share and show them off a little bit. Um, here's some little fur, white fur ones. So yeah, so these are all the papers to actually create or, you know, fold up into the chess pieces, which I don't have the patience for. Maybe, maybe I um, I do it one day, maybe I don't, I don't know. Maybe I sell it, but it has the book with the instructions here. Oh, here's what it would look like, I guess, if I actually took the time to build it. Will I do it? Only time will tell. Take a look at the pieces. On the right side, we have the cats. The left side, we have the dogs. It looks like the cats are the ones on white and the dogs are the ones on the black. What do you guys think? Should I, should I fold, should I build it? Should I have the kids help me, my nephews? Or should I just maybe try to sell it? I think I paid, I think I paid $30 for this. So I thought it was, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. Oh, here we go, look at this. Meet the players. This is telling you how to fold these guys. Uh-huh, the pawn. The dots, dot son, I'm not, uh, dachshund, weenie dog, there you go. How about that, the weenie dog is the pawn. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't pronounce that. That's the weenie dog, pawn. For the cats, the Persian kitty is their pawn. The rook for the dogs, the chow. I thought that was a chow. I had a chow when I was younger. Rest in peace, Hercules. He'd always begin into a fight. Oh man, Hercules, Hercules. Rest in peace, buddy. Okay. Nor Norwegian forest cat is the rook. On the cat side, I don't know, these things seem kind of tricky. I don't have the patience to build these guys. Yeah, I'll definitely, if I build it, I'll definitely have the kids build it, I don't know. And the knight for the dogs is the whip it. I'm not gonna read all of that, uh, but here's this guy. Pretty creative, whoever like, Invented this how to fold all this stuff, but man, respect. Um, the night for the cats is the American short hair cat. Here he is. Have you guys ever seen an origami chess set? Leave it in the comments. Let me know what I should do with this, too. I love to hear feedback from you guys. The bishop on the dog side is the beagle. And pretty cute, pretty cute dog. Uh, Siamese, Siamese cat is the bishop for the cats. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? The queen on the dogs is, uh, what is it? Weem, Weemeraner? I hope I said that right. Weemeraner. All right, let's see what else we have. The queen for the cats, let's see. Turkish Angora.
Queen for the Cats, Turkish Angora. All right, so I guess the King is coming up. Let's see what the King is looking like. Ah, German Shepherd, King for the Dogs. Oh, this one. See, now this one, the origami itself really, really looks like the actual animal that it's representing. Some of the other ones didn't quite look like it. This one really does. All right, let's see the king for the cats. Let's see what the cats have. Who do the cats have for their king? Let's see. Devon Rex, huh? You guys maybe could pause it if you guys want to read. I don't know. I probably should have left time. Or probably not. You guys could you guys could look it up if you want to know more about the animals, right? You guys could do a quick Google search and read about the cats and the dogs here. I'm just showing you guys the pieces. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, showing you all the instructions. Uh, let's see. Show you guys the pieces one more time all together. Here they are. Not sure if you guys were expecting the actual pieces built. I'm kind of lazy and I didn't have the the uh, the patience for it to build it. I'm more of a chess player, not an origami builder. So yeah, it came comes with the book. Here's the board. It's all complete, right? The board unfolds. Bam. And it has two two sides All right this is like grass and like little pebbles little gravel and then this one is just like a more traditional wood looking uh chess piece or chess board folds up really neat wow what is this oh this is just i guess something was glued on there Case is really good. Folds up really sturdy. Here's the back of it. The pieces on it. So yeah, it's over a hundred sheets. Specially designed origami paper to create two complete sets. 112 page illustrated book. That's the one I was flipping through with the instructions and information on the animals. Uh, it says combine the ancient game of chess with the ancient Japanese art of origami and add a whole new twist by putting the felines against the canines in a unique chess set. Detailed folding instructions are provided for models representing six different breeds of cats and six different breeds of dogs. Two-sided chessboard, traditional board on one side, outdoor version with grass and sand on the reverse. Made in China, uh, what is it? Thunderbaybooks.com. Uh, imprint of the Baker and Taylor Publishing Company or Publishing Group in San Diego, California. I was looking for a date um, I don't see a date. Let's see. Let's see if there's a date in here somewhere. Don't see it. Let's see what the book, the book should have a date. Let's see, book. When were you printed? Um, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, 2014. And it has some information, a little history on chess. The gymnasium chess is the, is the gymnasium of the mind. Ah, I like that. Work your mind out. Exercise your mind. Uh, okay, let's put these pieces back. Let's see how they go. Uh, the paper. Paper goes in here. And let's see. Put it like this. And this little section, nice and neat. And everything is nice and neat. Nothing is really um, wrinkled or anything. Let's put these guys here. Nothing's folded. Put the book back in here. 
you know what, let's put it like this, flip it upside down. And that way, when I put it in the box, it's visible. Bam, there it is. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've seen something like this before. Uh, should I sell it? Should I build it? Uh, please, yeah, share your comments. Thank you. Until the next one.